I'm filming this video. The first time I filmed the video, I didn't watch it back until like six months after I filmed it. And I was like, this is the most awkward video I've ever watched. I cannot put this on the internet. And then the second time I filmed it, I did the exact same thing. And I was just very awkward and annoying. So here we are, there's time to charm. If the exact same thing happens, I don't know what to do because I don't think my brain can handle filming this a fourth time. So this is the best it's gonna get. I'm not gonna go through like why I started journaling because it's not even an interesting story. I'm a little nerd and I've literally been keeping a diary since like third grade. And eventually it just kind of turned into bullet journaling. And then I hated that because it was so hard for no reason. And then I got this baby. This is my journal. It's almost full, which is really sad. I can't even think about finishing this. To start out, I just watched a bunch of videos and I went on Pinterest and I just kind of copied things that I thought looked cool. And then I kind of found like my own style, my own way I like to journal. I started by just making an about me page. I have like basic information and then I have just like random facts about me. It's a good starter page. I did wish I included a picture of myself at the time because I made this in like December of I think like 2021. So it'll be cool to look back and see if I've changed at all. The next page is called the butterfly effect. This is kind of hard to do because I do have the memory of a goldfish. I tried to remember little things that I've done in my life that have resulted in something bigger just to see if there were any butterfly effects that I could think of in my own life. The next page is my favorite compliments I've ever received. I didn't make this in like a narcissistic way. I literally just made it because I don't remember anything anyone tells me. And if someone ever says something that just makes me like want to cry because of how nice it is, I tell myself, I'm like, I'm never going to forget this. This is the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. And then it leaves my mind like a week later. So I like having a written account of all the sweet things people have said. Then I have some playlists. I made this in the car when I was really bored. I also made this one in the car. It's called Life Lessons I've Learned. I made this at like the ripe age of 13. So like obviously I had not lived very much life at all, but it was kind of fun to think about like the different things I've learned. Then this page is one of my favorites. It's called My People. I basically made little profiles for all my best friends and next to them I included a sticker that kind of reminded me of them. Stickers are my favorite thing ever to put in journals because I cannot draw for the life of me. And I was gonna try to like sketch out all my friends but I knew that was gonna end so badly. They add such a cool pop of color and they just make every page look so much more fun. These are the sticker books I use. They're from Bando. Bando stickers are the cutest. They're so fun and they have like little quotes and then little pictures and they're my favorite. Then I have a things I love page. It's just like a little heart that I filled in with a bunch of different colored pens. And then on the outside, I just wrote about all the little things that I love. Then I have me from A to Z. I also saw this in an Ava Malosh video. I just thought about different traits of mine that I have in alphabetical order. So starting with A and ending with Z, just different things that I think describe me. The next page is soundtrack to my life. I haven't finished it yet. I always forget to come back to it. Either I think of a song first and then I try to think about an experience I have that I can relate to it, or I think about an experience and then I give that experience a song. The next few pages are called we keep this love in a photograph. I just put a few Polaroids and disposable camera pictures on the page and then I wrote a little blurb for what was happening while the picture was taken. If I ever have pictures lying around that I'm not going to put up on a wall and they're just going to end up like somewhere in storage. I always put them in my journal and I'll do like little doodles around them or I'll put them in with stickers and I just think it makes them so much more special and it's really fun to have them in my journal because then I know exactly where they are and I can always look back on them. Then I have a page called social media. I made this page after I had like, you know, gone down a TikTok rabbit hole and I'd been using my phone for like eight hours. On the top, I wrote down all the way social media makes me feel and then I kind of expanded on some of the words at the bottom. It's definitely a dramatic page page, but it also helped me be more self-aware and reflect on an experience that I would normally just hate myself for. Then I have a page called what I love about me. I kind of hate this page. I tried to think about traits that I have that aren't physical and aren't things that I do for other people. So I didn't want to say something like I love my eyes or I give really good advice or something. And that was really hard to think about because like literally nothing came to mind. This next page is so ugly. It's called for my future kids parenting mistakes. I don't want to make it's pretty self-explanatory Basically anytime my friends tell me something that their parents do or my parents do something that kind of annoy me I write it down on this page so that if I ever become a parent I can look back on this page and give myself some reminders I guess because I know that once I'm an adult I'm not gonna remember the things that annoyed me as a teenager and a kid then I have my favorite feelings I just wrote down all the things that bring me joy and added some cute stickers. I love looking back on this page I think it's so sweet then I have my movies to watch page. I have actually not seen any of these except one. 
so I don't look at this page enough. Then I have a things to do more and things to do less page. The more side is just habits that I want to develop and implement into my life. And then the less side is things that I do way too much and I need to stop doing and replace with things in the more side. Then I have a page called my dream life. I have a lot of these pages in my journal just kind of as a form of like manifestation, but also a way to look forward to the future. Then I have my hot girls read page. I have Goodreads, but I also really like blogging the books that I've read in my journal. It's kind of like having a little one person book club with yourself. Then I have a little lipstick page. Honestly, I thought about different things that I could put on this page, but I kind of like it the way it is. I think it's really simple and really pretty. Then I have some prompts. Then I have a few collage pages. I don't even remember when I made this, but I found a bunch of little keepsakes from middle school that I ended up putting in my journal and writing a little bit about. These pages are really nostalgic. I think they're super sweet. When I have experiences that I want to remember or a special thing that happened to me, I always make little collages of it or reflections about it in my journal. Then I have a fortunes page. I fully spelled fortunes wrong. Every time I eat Chinese food and I get a fortune cookie, I put the fortunes on this page. Then I have my I love New York City page. I still haven't filled this all the way in yet. The top is all the places that I want to go. And then the bottom are my favorite places. This page is a little family page. Originally it was supposed to be something else. I can't remember, but I completely messed it up. And so I just put some pictures over it. That's something I always do. Whenever I mess up a page, I don't like ripping it out. So I'll just put like stickers or pictures or a piece of paper to cover up the mistake. And then I'll just make it a different type of page. The next page is kind of cringy, but it's called To All The Boys. And it's actually two pages of every single crush I've ever had. I write their names and a little bit about them. It's just kind of fun to look back on, especially because I have like elementary school crushes in here. It's just kind of funny to read. And this page always brings back a lot of memories. Some good, some bad. Then <laughs> this page is words I love. Anytime I heard a quote, I would just write it here. I have a few pages like this in my journal too, just like little phrases that I like or quotes that I want to remember. This title is so cringy. I thought it was so funny for making this. It's called Mr. Worldwide. It's all the places I've been and then all the places that I want to travel to. Then I have a little manifestation page just about like different ways to manifest and tips and stuff like that. And then this page is I saw a few journal prompts on Pinterest that all said to write a letter to a person you hate or like a person that did something to you and you never really got the closure of talking it out with them. But I decided I would because I do not want to speak to this person again and like the past is in the past. I don't want to rehash anything. So I ended up just writing this letter. I thought it was going to be like a few paragraphs, but it turned into three pages. It was just a nice way to let go of the emotion that I didn't even realize I was holding on to. Then I have a cute little collage. It doesn't really have a specific theme. It's mainly just Harry Styles and just like little stickers that I thought were cute. Then I have my self care page. Just a bunch of little things to do when I want to have like a chill day alone. Then I have my pens page. Anytime I get new pens, I do a little scribble on this page. And then if I want a journal page to have a certain color or look a certain way, I look at all the pen colors and I see which ones will look good together. I didn't think it would be, but this is so helpful to have. I have my concert log. I write down all the concerts that I've been to, all the concerts that I'm going to, and all of the artists that I want to see live. Then I have an introspection page which is just like a bunch of prompts that are more related to like your inner self and just like things that are kind of uncomfortable to admit. I have my one thing a day that scares me page that I did not finish but this is when I was experiencing like a lot of social anxiety so every day I decided to do one thing that instilled a lot of fear in me. After I did it I would write it down and almost always afterwards I realized I had nothing to be scared of. Then I have my therapy page. Like I said I have the memory of a goldfish so every time I have a really good conversation conversation with my therapist, I never remember it. And he always says so many perfectly articulated one-liners, pieces of advice. And I'm just like, oh my God, this literally explains everything. I'll never forget this. And then I forget it. So every time he says something like that, I just write it down. And now I have it all to look back on in my journal. Then this page might be creepy to some people, but I always take souvenirs from any place that I go. And so whenever I go to concerts, I always pick up something off the floor. So when I went to Lord and Olivia Rodrigo, I picked up confetti off the floor and I had no idea where to put it. So I figured I'd make a few pages just dedicated to all the random stuff that I have from the concerts I've been to. Then I have some photo booth pictures of my friends and I from my friend Sweet 16. This is where all my summer entries start. I journaled so much over the summer. I wrote something like basically every day. It was so much fun. And I have a page called Words. And basically every time I read a book, I try to write down all of the words that they say in the book that I just didn't know. 
Then in this page I made after I read the book Book Lovers. In the book, the main character always brings up what she thinks her happy ending will look like and just kind of her thoughts about like happily ever afters and if they really exist. And I decided it would be fun to make a little journal page inspired by that. And so I titled the page, What is My Happy Ending? And I just tried to write as many happy endings that I could think of for myself. This page is really like uplifting to make. I feel like the future is something that always terrifies me. So I like to dedicate a lot of pages in my journal to just excitement about the future instead of fear. And I have a little wish list page. When I'm making Christmas lists and birthday lists, I can never remember things that I want. So I decided to make a wish list page and it's just like all the things that I hopefully one day will buy. The next page is called Teenage Dream. I made this after I watched the summer I turned pretty because my summers are fun, but they happen in New York City. I'm sure anyone who lives in New York knows that like summers in the city are just horrible most of the time because it's hot, it's sweaty, there's no pools to go to. So even though I love summer, I love it everywhere but New York. So I made this page to kind of envision what my perfect summer would look like if I didn't have to spend it in New York. The next page is called The Seasons. I made little boxes for summer, fall, winter, and spring. And then in the boxes, I wrote down things that I love about each season. Then I have a movie log. Every time I watch a movie, I write it here. And then I write the date that I watched it and my ranking out of five stars. Then I have another movies to watch page. The next page is my favorite artists. And I have a things I've lost page. And then the next page is things I've gained. Originally, I was just gonna do things I've lost, but I thought that was kind of depressing. So I added the things I've gained. Then this page is really cute. It's a little envelope and inside there's some notes. There's some little mementos. A lot of these next few pages are from when I went to California and you just like sort out my brain. So I just did like a brain dump. Then I have a Cali love page. This page is ugly as f So it's like all the things that I love about California. Then I have a letter to my future self. It looks horrible. There's no stickers. There's no nothing. My handwriting is really bad, but this was super nice to make and I always reread it. Then I have a little Cali recap page. Then I have a realizations page. Vacation just always makes me want to like rethink literally everything in my life. So when I was on vacation, I realized there were a lot of things that I wanted to change and I wrote about them all here. This page is called In This Moment and I made this when I was laying on the beach at sunset and it was so beautiful and so I just wrote about all the things I could hear, all the things I was smelling, all the things I saw other people doing. I am such a people watcher and I love just documenting things that I see other people doing. I made a page called What Gives Me Energy and it's just little things that I really like doing. Then I have a little Cali keepsakes page and all the little business cards I picked up, my boarding pass, my wristband from when I went paddle boarding. I put them all on this page and then wrote about each place. The next page is so adorable. I really like it. It's called Summer Loves. I was at sleepaway camp for a month and I met a lot of my best friends there. So it's kind of similar to the My People page. I gave them all little blurbs. Then I have a style page. I made this before school started when I wanted to like revamp my style a little bit. So I wrote all the things that I wanted to buy. And then the right side is a collage that I haven't finished yet, but it's kind of how I want my style to look and some clothes that I really want to buy. Then I started doing monthly recaps. So this is my recap of August. Basically, I'll rate the month a certain number of stars out of 10. Then I write about the highs of the month, the lows of the month, my overall feelings about it, realizations I had, and things that I want to remember for the next month. Then I have my summer 2022 playlist. I just wrote about all the songs that I listened to the most that summer. Then I have a list of all the books I've ever rated five stars. Next, I just have some random prompts. And then I have a journal entry. I made it right at the end of summer. So I called it metamorphosis because I feel like I changed a lot from the beginning of the summer. This page is just a little quote page that I made to kind of, I don't know, commemorate the end of summer. So I put a quote in the middle and I wrote, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Then I have another currently page. For this one, I wrote currently I'm and then watching, reading, listening, feeling, wearing, excited for, loving, hating, missing, and just filled in the blank. This page is my favorite. It's probably my favorite in my journal. It's another lipstick page and I called it the little things. And I just thought of a bunch of small things about life that I really enjoy. After that, I have a my favorites page. I wrote down all my favorite beauty products. I've been getting a lot more into skincare and having like a set morning routine and night routine in terms of that. So I found a lot of really good products. Then I have a collage page that I have not finished yet. I wanted to get business cards for all my favorite food places in New York, but nobody makes business cards anymore. And when they do, they usually don't have them on display and I'm way too scared to ask. But so far I only have one business card in here. I got one today though, so soon I'll have to. And then this page I made a mistake on. So I put a picture of me and my friend Patricia and the picture covered up the ad page that I made. Then I have my second Hot Girls Read page because I have been popping in terms of reading this year. I've read like 34, 35 books so far and they've all been so good. So even though I love
vlog them on Goodreads. I still have fun writing them in my journal. Then I have a fall and winter bucket list. And then I have my September recap reflection thingy that I did for August as well. This page scares me. This page makes me so anxious. I saw a prompt on Pinterest that was like, write down all your fears and eventually you'll just realize there are words on a page. And I like the sound of that. I like the concept. So I filled this entire page with every fear I have from like sharks to, you know, everyone I love dying. And I can't even read it or look at it because it's just a list of like my deepest, darkest fears. So like, yes, they are words on a page. Pinterest was right about that, but they are words on a page that if I read, I will freak out. And so I just avoid this page at all costs. Then I have an Autumn Asks page. I wanted to be more creative and not title this prompts for like the millionth time. So I wrote down a bunch of prompts about fall and then answered them all. That rhymes. This way I didn't give a physical title, but in my head, I call it my highest self. I put this sticker in the middle and then all around it, I wrote down what the best version of myself does. Then I have another song lyrics page that I like way more than the first one. The first one's very ugly. Right now it's all lyrics from Midnight's because I will never get over that album. And actually in general, I'm realizing they are all Taylor Swift lyrics which is not even surprising. She's incredible. This page is called Optimism. I messed up another page. So I put index cards over the spots that I missed and then a bunch of stickers in the middle. And it was just kind of an epiphany I had about optimism and how much I lack it. And I really want to change that about myself. Then the page next to it is called Words I Left Unsaid. I get very nervous in social settings and just like life in general. A lot of things freak me out. So if I want to say something, I usually don't end up saying it. I'd rather say nothing than like say the wrong thing and then have it be awkward and make me want to like crawl into a hole and die. So every time I have the urge to speak in a big conversation or just with a person one-on-one -on -one and I don't let myself talk, I write it down in here and I have another mistake page. I just wrote on a piece of paper and then crumpled it up and put it over all of the bad drawings that I made. Then I have a dates I want to go on page. I never know what to do when I hang out with my friends. So I made this page to like give me inspiration because we normally just like lay in bed and scroll through TikTok side by side for like six hours. Unfortunately, I have not had a boyfriend since first grade. So I I will probably just be doing these with my friends because I am going to die alone. <laughs> and this page is called To Live By. I'm watching Bojack Horseman right now and they always like have these one-liners and I'm just like, oh my God, this is really well said. So I write them down here. Or if I hear a song lyric that I really like or quotes from other TV shows or books, I'll write them down in here. After that, I have a little playlist page and they're all my favorite songs at the moment. And then I have a little collage of what I want my future house to look like. This is probably one of my favorite pages. I think it's really pretty and all the stickers kind of correlate to what I want my future to look like in general. The page next to it I also love. It's called She's Got a Book for Every Situation because Harry wrote that lyric about me. Like I literally do have a book for every situation. Anytime someone asks me for a book recommendation, I literally just short circuit and I can't think of any book I've ever read. So I made this page and I organized all the books I've ever read into different categories. And then I have a list of all my comfort movies. I think this page is adorable too. It's just really simple and cute. And that's everything in my journal. I have no idea how to end videos, but I hope you enjoyed. If you have any journal prompts or ideas, definitely comment them down below and yeah i'll see you in the next one